Hi all, today's webcast is about how to create a service contract for subscription items and then how we can create an uh, invoice uh, for the subscription item. So let's uh, look, have a look at the one of the subscription item. If you look into the service tab, you can see a uh, contract item type will be subscription and then we need to assign a subscription template to the our item. Once the item is created, let's create a service contract. So in, in if you look into my service contract, the category is subscription agreement. Then uh, we have a bill to ship to information, uh, my customer information, and then I have a contact information. Once uh, information for the parties is completed, uh, we can go to the next tab, which is billing and pricing. We can provide the information like price list, payment terms, currency conversions, and adjustments. And also we can indicate whether we want to create the invoicing or not, or if we want to create any, if we want to put the invoice on hold. And once that part is done, we, we, can, we, we, we can provide, we need to provide the information how we want to renew this contract and uh, if any approval is required or not. And in the administration tab, we will uh, uh, enter information for the group, uh, QA, and what kind of a approval we want to, uh, approval workflow we want to associate with the contract. Once the summary information is over, uh, in the lines tab, we uh, need to enter the line type as a subscription because this is a subscription contract. Under the name, we enter our item name, and that's just the information defaulted from the uh, contract header. In the effectivities, most of the information defaulted from the uh, contract header, but in the edit schedule button, we can enter the schedule how we want to create the sales order for the sales for the subscription item. As we all know for the subscription item, we ship the product through the order management. So let's have a look at the edit schedule. If you look into the interface schedule section, uh, we can see the date for our subscription. And interface date is the date when we send the data to the order management to create the sales order. Initially, order number and order status will be blank. But once an order is created, system will automatically update it, uh, schedule with the order number and the status of the order. So in the pricing and the product tab for the contract line, we enter our the price break and the billing option. In the billing option, the important thing for the subscription is it is always the equal amount. As you can see, my total amount is 12, which is equally divided into four subscription. So once uh, the service contract is created, we need to complete it. We need to uh, uh, approve it. Once the approval is done, we need to push the data to order management to create the order so that we can ship our subscription and to AR for invoicing. To create the data in the order management, we uh, run the concurrent program service contract subscription fulfillment program. And for AR, we run the main billing program this will insert the data into the RA interface tables. And to process the data from interface table, we need to run the auto invoice. Once the auto invoice is completed, as you can see, an invoice is created 989 for the con contract. Source is OKS underscore contract. And in the reference, I can see my contract number. So you can uh, see you have all the uh, ship to build to information is imported from the service contract. This is uh, my header level sales credit my lines level sales credit, my subscription line. In the, uh, in the invoice line, uh, you can see your subscription items. And if you look into the your uh, transaction flex field, you can inf uh, see the information related to the contract, start date, end date, bill, and all, all these things. So now once the invoice is completed, we can create the accounting and push the data to journal ledger to create the journal. So once the accounting is complete, you can see that your accounting information. And here, either you can go back to your invoice by selecting the view transaction, or you can view your journal by clicking the view journal entry. Let's click on the view journal entry. And this is my journal for the invoice. And now let's uh, look into the order created by uh, service contract for this subscription item. My order number is 11092. 
92 and my order type is subscription and uh, if I look into the line the important thing here is just because this is a ship only order we are not invoicing uh, through order management we are invoicing for subscription to the service contract only and that's why you can see the price of item is zero and this is ship only and that's all about this flow i hope you like it if you have additional question you can write me at sgupta at businessinc.com or leave a comment on my blog thank you bye